do you like death? Do you like darkness? Do you like American death metal? If all those questions, your answer is yes, you're right up for this review. What we have here is Incantation. So let's take a look at the band's latest album right here on Rauda. This one is called Sect of Wild Divinities. A title that is very, very uh, fitting for the band in question. And those of you who are young enough not to remember Incantation from the years past, well, you're in for a sort of a trip or treat. Incantation is one of the, I guess, oldest in their own genre. That is this very dark death metal with kind of a chaotic, could you call it even Lovecraftian themes? Well, maybe not in themes, but at least when it comes to the atmosphere. Never been one of those trashier, most brutal bands. One of those bands that are so much into kind of a rock and roll or then again more kind of a progressive playing or technical nature. In condition have always kind of a paved their own way with its kind of a dark, blasphemous death metal. And um, it's also a kind of a curious thing because they never got that big. I mean, not in Cannibal Corpse big or, or other those na there's other names like morbid angel and the like but they have been paving their own road for so many many years and making their very own unique sound which is then again very very likable if you're into this kind of a dark death metal some of these titles however are a little bit interesting i'll kind of take another look uh before getting into the metal archive side. For example, Song of um, Entrails of the Hack Queen or Shadow Blade Masters of Tendals and Maelstrom. I don't know if it's because of my strong role playing and uh, fantasy background, but really kind of uh, gives me this idea that these could be uh, titles to some fantasy literature or some role playing games and whatever. They kind of uh, resonate me a lot. But Let's take a look at the band's metal I have site so I can give you a little bit of the background while I'll tell you about the music on this album. Now, as many other bands being this old, I mean more than 30 years in the business, of course it's kind of a given that the band has a, quite a lineup. That is, a lot of changes have been going on throughout the years. This is a very, very vast list, especially if you take into account the live parts. Nowadays, however, what we have here is a current lineup is the one only original member, the Mr. Incantation, Jen McEnt, and a couple of other guys who have been more or less along the years in the band. Discography, nonetheless, is vast, and there are quite a few albums since the 1992 debut album, since the band kind of a first presented their own kind of death metal into the world. And... Uh, in case this is a little bit too small a phone, let's just take a look, another look. So, earlier from New Jersey, later on to Pennsylvania, this is one of those American gifts to death metal scene. Now, most people, I guess, kind of put American death metal on the map by the bands that came from Florida, especially bands like Morbid Angel, Obituary, Death, and so on. But, let's be honest about it, America is a very big country, and of course, different areas, different locations, all bring their own elements into the music. I don't know what's going on with John McEntee's world, or in his head, but I guess I could be, it could be claimed that because of his past, I mean, let's take a look at this list once again, his past also with uh, some other bands have, might, might have been affecting his mindset when creating uh, Incantation's music. Because it's very different from those other bands, maybe apart from Mimulation, which is also kind of a working around with this uh, darker death metal, which is not so much about speed and brutality, but creating this chaotic and kind of otherworldly um, atmosphere when it comes to death metal. And nothing really changes in that respect when we're talking about this new album, because Sectophile Divinity is, is very much a likable, noticeable sound, it's kind of a signature sound of, uh, of the band. And throughout these 45, 45 minutes or so, the band is very much creating this really sinister atmosphere. 
And whereas other bands just go for technicalities, they have the trash reefs, or they're all about brutal killings and whatever, Incantation has chosen to go their own path. And that's what makes it so goddamn interesting. Also, it goes the other way around. I mean, probably some people who want more likable for more like easier death metal style will find that Incantations is just to bit weird kid in the block for them. I know I have had my past with the band, you know, in, in, in the kind of a, not in maybe negative ways, but some albums haven't really resonated me a lot with. For example, the, the album Me Blasphemy early 2000s wasn't really my thing. I mean, there were lots of parts which were just kind of a mediocre, even if, on the other hand, some really good riffs as well. Now, the later years with Incantation, in my opinion, have improved. Maybe not to the level of the classic stuff, that is the early 1990s stuff, but the band is very, very relevant in their own ways. And this is no, uh, how to say, no surprise, no difference in that rule. Incantations is very much doing their own stuff. And you either love it or you hate it, but the band really doesn't care. Or that's what I'm getting from this band. So once again, this is a dark death metal album for the maniacs who can really enjoy and savor, you know, the kind of a slow tempo and mid-tempo parts. And while the band is able to, you know, push the gas pedal as well, they're never doing it too much. They're very much kind of a comfortable with their own set of darkness, this sea of limbs and blasphemous words. And I think that's just fine. So Incantation is now here with a kind of a strong album. Maybe not everybody's cup of tea. That's kind of a given, I guess. But definitely for those metalheads who can just enjoy dark, sinister atmosphere, Sect of Wild Divinity is exactly that. Not the album of the year, but a solid Incantation release. What are you waiting for? Go to take a listen to this album and I hope you enjoy it. Take care, my friends, and see you. Bye-bye.